morning, a few uh, studies from my devotions along the way. First one is in Judges, chapter 7, uh, verses 10 and 11, speaking of, to Gideon here. And the Lord says, If you fear, go down, go thou with four of thy servant down to the host, and thou shalt hear what they say, and afterwards shalt thine hands be strengthened to go down unto the host. Then went he down with four his servant unto the outside of the armed men that were in the host. Remember the commercial says, no fear. Yeah, that's a certain amount of fear. That's a safeguard in my life. But I have over the years feared the opinions of people more than I should have. It's cost me. When I began to ask God uh, to, to help in that people-pleasing mentality, he was gracious to me. He'd been helping me be thoughtful of others but not ruled by their opinions as much. Well, as we meet Gideon in Judges 6, 11 through 13, the angel of the Lord calls him a mighty man of valor. Gideon then makes a bunch of excuses as to why he can't uh, do what he's supposed to do. His clan is small, my strength is small. And he's also well known for that fleece thing, which is a sign of a lack of trust in the plain words of God. Plain and simple. But God meets us where we are. As we saw in the fleece, God was pleased uh, to, to do what Gideon asked. As we see in the verses that we honed in on, God knows Gideon's weakness, and instead of saying, Buck up, Gideon! Instead lets him overhear in 719 a man relating his dream and the other man interpreting it to mean that Gideon and his army is going to roll over them like a hummer over a rabbit. Then Gideon worshipped. See, God is pleased with faith. But he even honors little faith, doesn't he? In John 20, we say that he dealt with Thomas in a kind manner and he met him where he was in his faith. The other guys had uh, been just as reluctant. Thomas just stuck out and has been branded Doubting Thomas by the generations of us who follow and have the same doubts at times. I love the fact that God gives Gideon a lesson in how faithful God is here. I love how God then is pleased to receive the worship. In my mind, it wasn't worship because the battle will be won, but maybe worship because the holy, transcendent Lord of hosts stooped down and encouraged a frail human. Ponder that, Pastor Steve.